Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm BJ, this is Brick House Builds. And in this video, what I want to show you is a trick for getting stuck pistons out of motorcycle calipers without damaging them. So stick around, I'll show you how I do it. All right, so laid out on the bench here, I have a, a, a couple calipers here that I'm working on. These are uh, for a Honda GL650, but this information is gonna cross over to anything that you're gonna be working on. I have a few tools and I want to show you exactly how I do this. There's a few different methods. Um, a lot of times on these old bikes, these especially, and these perfect example, you get corrosion in these uh, calipers and stuff when the brake fluid breaks down after sitting for, you know, who knows, like 20 years or whatever. Um, and even even a lot less time than that these calipers can freeze up and the pistons just get corroded and, and freeze inside of them So and when they're in there uh, A lot of times you'll have maybe just a little bit of an overhang to where you can't really you know You can't really like wiggle these things out and they just become a big problem You know you don't want to use a set of like vice grips or anything like that or channel locks on on these things Because you're gonna damage the piston and even though you could replace those there's just a better way of getting those out of the caliper without hurting them. So I've already got one set loose and these things were a complete, complete bear to do and we're gonna go ahead and move to, to this side. So uh, we're gonna dig in and figure out what it's gonna take to get these things out. They're gonna be difficult, but I'll show you exactly what I do. All right, so the first and easiest thing to try is using compressed air. So what you're gonna want here is to make sure you have your bleed nipple uh, you know seated in the caliper you're, you're gonna want to have this uh, this fitting open and then you're gonna need like just an air chuck with some kind of like rubber tip on it so it seals and basically you're gonna be forcing air in here trying to push the pistons out now uh, word of caution here you do not want to just leave this exposed because if the piston comes out then it's just gonna it can shoot shoot out somewhere it can hurt you know it can damage things so what you want to do is have some kind of a stopper and this is going to get us an idea of how of how firm these things are in here so to try it i've got the compressor air it all the way up we're going to see if these things move you can tell there's definitely slack in here right now all right so this one moved out a little bit so that's good I'm gonna keep putting a little bit of air to it and see if we can get this other one loose. I can see it initially wants to move. So I think what I'm gonna do is I know I can force this in a little bit, so maybe I can work it loose uh, by cleaning the outside here and then we can compress it force it in and then maybe we can try to slide it again uh, using air. So here's what I want to do. Just because this one's easier to see, take a little bit of a razor, take a little razor blade here. Just kind of scrape around it. Get some of that corrosion off of there. That way it's easier to push past any of the seals. And of course you're not going to be able to get all the way around it, but this is going to help regardless. And since this one's already moving, we probably don't, we shouldn't have to worry about it, but I'm going to go ahead and on the piston that's not moving, you can see the outer dust seal is kind of like being forced out and it's hanging. So that's definitely what we're catching on as well. So I'm just going to trim off the excess there. Seals are ruined at this point. And then clean up caliper the best I can, or the piston. Little shot of brake clean, toothbrush. Okay. 
All right, that's about the best we can reach around in this instance. So what I want to do next is use a C-clamp, and we're going to go ahead and force the piston back in. Now I want to put a little bit of lubricant right here to help, you know, help it slide once we, once we get it in that seal. And then next time, whenever we remove the clamp, we can force air in, and it might force it back out. Okay, so I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of PB Blaster. You can't do just a little bit. It's got to be a lot bit. All right. Get our C-clamp here. Just start pushing it in. That was in there pretty good, so I'm not super confident that the uh, that the air is going to remove this, but we'll see. So now we got a little bit more room to work around. I can try to get some of this other uh, other gunk out of the way. All right, let's try again with the air. Remember our block. see how grimy it is but it did come out via the air compressor so not too bad so now what we want to do we'll decrease the size of our block I just have a piece of aluminum here and we'll just continue to hit it with the air compressor Right, so both of those came almost all the way out. All right, now the tricky part, thinner yet. So once one of them comes out, you're going to obviously lose pressure. And then you're not going to be able to force the other one out. So just uh, keep working at it. This is when it gets a little tricky. All right, just got a piece of sheet metal here. These things are almost all the way out. There we go. So these things actually came out a lot easier than I was expecting. Um, they're definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot of corrosion in here, um, and basically it's the outer dust seal that really just gets hung up on these things. And you know the pistons are. They have a bunch of gunk on them, but they're not pitted or corroded or anything like that. It's just from the breakdown of the brake fluid over, over the years. Now, now let's say you're in the situation where the pistons are not moving under, uh, under air compressor. What you do is you actually get your master cylinder and you just hook this up like a normal system and you just pump fluid in it using your master cylinder until you force the pistons out. And you can actually do this like um, you can actually do it without the master cylinder in a in a slower form using these C clamps. Let's say you have one piston that moves pretty free, um, and that's gonna be easy to get out. What you can do is keep that one in the bore, and then fill your caliper with fluid. Extend this piston out almost as far as it will go, and then what you do is you refill your caliper with fluid until there's just no room left in there. And then you can actually create a, uh, a seal with the, right, with the right fitting here. And then what you do is use your C-clamp on the extended piston, force it back in, and because there's only so much volume in the caliper with the fluid, or there's no extra space, it's going to start forcing the other one back out. And obviously that's a lot more time consuming and a lot messier than just using a master cylinder. But, you know, if you, like me, the master cylinder is all gunked up and doesn't work that might be your only option so it might be a good idea if you work on these things pretty often just have a good master cylinder 
uh, laid off to the side that you can use for instances like this because you know sometimes a compressor just doesn't do it but anyway that's how we got this one out as of now I'm gonna go ahead and just clean everything up on this and then install a rebuild kit and we'll be good to go we'll have, uh, we'll have fresh factory well not fresh but we'll definitely have some good working calipers so there you have it. Hope you guys like this one. All right, guys, that was a quick little video, just a nice little how-to. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. So hopefully these are uh, some good tips for just trying to get these pistons out of these calipers that you guys can use. If you guys like this video and you want to see some more, definitely cruise back through the channel. I got a lot of content on here, whether it be how-tos, tips and tricks, some uh, shop organization stuff, or whatever project I'm working on. A lot of content on here and a lot more you can see on my social media sites. That's just Brickhouse Builds across the board. And you can find me there every day posting stuff. So anyway, again, I hope you guys like this one and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.